Can you invest in Godrej consumer products? That stock has went up by 21% in just one day in this week. From almost like 7-10 rupees, it went up to 895 and settled at 872. Just look at the kind of growth. 20% returns in a big stock is huge, right? So that is possible just because of fundamental analysis. I'm just going to dive, dive deeper in this concept and in this stock. So hi, hello, this is Ganesh Santhuru, your stock market profit coach. I help in multiplying your money by investing in stock market. And this is my book, One Page Stock Market Plan. Please go and check it out in Amazon. The link is provided in the description, right? And today's topic is, can you invest in this stock, uh, Godrej Consumer Products, and why fundamental analysis more than enough to analyze these kind of companies and invest your money, right? So let me start this, why this company is all about. And this is a very old organization, almost like 100 plus years old organization and they are in different domains. Let's look at, I'll show you a website where you can check all these things by default so that uh, it's easy for you to understand even in the future. Okay, so this is a website which will help you. This is a website which will help you. One moment. Uh, This is a website which will help you to look at uh, any stock related to this is screener.in. Some of you may be knowing this. Just look at the market capitalization, huge, 87,000 crores, and the current price is 852. I mean, uh, Friday it settled down, and uh, Thursday was a holiday because of Ramzan. And Wednesday, the stock went up to the high of 895 rupees. And before coming into the technical points, let's look at the company. They are into the fast moving consumer goods company. Just look at the growth. These are the most important thing and inside FMCG there are many segments and today we are just let's look at the personal care products because they are in the personal care products and what are the products just look at this these things good night and hair extension business number and Godrej number and so hit and synthol export hair color Godrej export hair color we all know and baby care products and air fresheners and this air freshener I think they are the number one you just you can j just look at the geographical presence how far they are uh, expanded all across the world, right? And market position, just look at. Only 25 to 30% comes from India and remaining from Indonesia and remaining from all across the world. And segmental revenue also it is given here. Just look at the personal wash account for almost like the Godrej number one and all these things accounts for 22% and the household insect is at the hit include almost 28 percentage in the market. And the air care, the uh, inside car, everybody is using that. Without that, we can't drive, right? And even inside home, you need that ambipure air and all these things, right? Air is something related to this. And uh, in Africa, US and Middle East, it earns nearly 90% of revenues from the hair care business. The Godrej hair care expert, they are almost like uh, monopoly. 90% means it's almost monopoly, right? And uh, the company follows go-to-market strategy and the long-term growth in emerging markets. Uh, the Indonesia, Malaysia and all these African continent, all these are emerging markets and they are planning to expand over the next three years. So the next three years, there is a potential for the stock to re-rate. There is a potential for the sales to increase over a period of time. And uh, this is the most important because everybody is so conscious on their hair care as well as the insecticide segment and including the good night because it is common. Uh, just look at uh, when Dengu is there, they launched new models uh, and every one or two years, they'll be launching new things. Now the gold flash va vapor, uh, gold flash vapor, uh, because every three uh, hours, they say that the new, new set of uh, in uh, mosquitoes comes in. So they, they say once you uh, enable the gold flash, automatically it comes on. And if you remember gold flash, a couple of years ago, they launched something like uh, immediately... Uh, Something on the same line they launched, but they are re they are changing the model, they're changing things, which means company is always innovating to market as well as innovating to make sure uh, they are launching a new products. And uh, this is what uh, they acquired the Darling Group, the hair extension business in 2013, and it has expanded all across the world. And R&D is, is the most important aspect because they are in the hair care segment and they are almost insecticides, everything they they do R&D uh, in a much much deeper manner and manufacturing facilities if you look at they have in India, Africa, Indonesia, Latin America and USA it says that they are widespread 
widespread in the sense this makes them more advantages for the company to grow because if manufactured in africa and if it has been distributed immediately the cost efficiency is there everything will grow right all these are most important and they are they are partnered with many big companies which will which is making the company more grow in a much bigger manner and the most interesting aspect is for any company uh, if you are getting into the fundamental analysis you need to check the return on equity you need to check the roc the return on capital employed the return on equity is around 20% and return on capital employed is 20.7% which is very high which is really good for any company and especially for a fmcg company and roc for the last 5 years this is almost like for the last 5 years on an average the return on capital employed is more than 20% and the promoter holding we all know the godrej group one of the godrej group is one of the oldest organization uh, on par with almost like tatas and uh, birlas we used to say tata birla right and on par with them and the free cash flow for the company is almost 4823 crore for the last 3 years that is the kind of cash they generated and this is something interesting and the current price is this just look at the stock p as of today it is 49.6 and the industry p is around 40 whereas this stock is around 50 right now couple of days ago it was just around it should be around 43 or 44 how am i saying that this is a st- uh, this is a scenario right once you come to screener.in you will get the chart price of the stock price chart okay uh, the stock price chart will give you a better data and p ratio of the stock also will give you how far the stock has grown this is stock price data this is for the last 5 years and for the last uh, almost like from 2006 this data is there if you look at the stock has been consistently growing over a period of time and it has increased so it's a very fairly growing and you can uh, expect the company to grow in the future also and believing in the management and all these things and let's look at the pe ratio of the stock okay for the last uh, 15 years the pe ratio is around 39.4 and for the last 5 years if you look at this company's PE ratio on an average has been around 45.5. If you look at this point critically, the EPS has been continuously growing, the earning per share, because uh, if the EPS is growing and if the median PE is around 45.5, just look at as of now, uh, it was around 40 on the month of the 30th April. And even before, for only on 14th May, see, just look at 11th May, So the average uh, PE was around uh, 40 couple of days ago and just because of one news, one news came in and that triggered the stock to go up. This is a positivity, this is the uh, fundamental analysis because the company has been doing everything good but one thing because for the last few months, uh, Nisab Godrej, uh, the, the owner uh, was the CEO as well as the managing director. Because of that point, everybody was expecting a professional CEO because a professional CEO can take decisions that can take the company to the next level. That we had seen in many companies like Britannia, Hindustan Unilever, many things. Generally, every investor will look towards a professional CEO and that will tr- create interest among the FIA as well as the DI. And just one news, what is what, what was that? Mr. Sitapati from HUL is coming to Godrej. That one news came on Wednesday morning. I think Wednesday morning and that triggered the stock price to move from 710 to almost 895. No other thing and no technicals can help you in these regard. Just one news, if you follow that news and if you have been already investing in this stock, believing that the price earning ratio is very par because median is around 45.5 and the stock price is around, and the price is around 40 means automatically the stock will go up to the next level. This is a kind of investments company you should uh, invest during these tough times tough times in the sense it's a volatile market right it is moving between a range for the last four months if you see from the time of january it hit the peak of 51,000 and it is coming down to 47 48,000 again it is going back to 51 again it is correcting because uh, sector rotation is happening from one sector ma- market is moving to the sector based on the current economic cycle now due to covid and all these situations market is turning towards the defensive stocks and uh, godrej is one of the defensive stock and during the last week of january the stock hit the peak of 800 rupees that was a peak but this one news because everything has been consistently doing good let me show you among the personal care segment this is this is the advantage of checking in this website pe of this company is around 59 whereas dabur india it's around 55 and all the other companies are just look at above 52 emami marico 
and Jyoti and Bajaj based on their data it is lesser okay uh, if you compare with Dabur, Mariko, Nimami it is the lowest and uh, another important thing is the EPS the earnings per share in the last few years it has increased consistently and in the 19 it, it touched the peak of 22.91 and then in March 2020 it was 14.64 and due even after the lockdowns and uh, serious issues in the last couple of uh, last one year because of COVID just look at the growth of this company 16.83 it, it was uh, more than the expected value that triggered the stock that triggered the stock to move up to I mean uh, it was a positivity which was already getting created this is the latest data March 2021 and other important points are they reduced the debt and they repaid the debt in the last one year in this financial year where, where you can see this just look at the repayment of borrowings borrowings this cash from financing activity they paid almost 1619 crores just to repay the debt if it has been added to the profitability then the profitability would have increased so uh, this is one uh, one big thing which they, this company has done considering the market situation and just look the look at the roc the return on capital employed for this also 21 percent which is improved by two percent compared to the last year and the debt are days they are able to get the money from the customer with a reduced uh, the last five five years it has been around 48 41 46 but this year it was 33 considering it's a lockdown time period covid nobody had money but this company was able to do uh, with 33 and inventory turnover is good because once it is produced within 2.88 days it was able to uh, send it send it back to the distributors and from there it is going to the all the people i mean to the end customer end shops so this is the most interesting aspect of godrej so if you look at all these aspects there is a potential for this company to grow from here also considering new manager is coming up and what is the advantage of uh, this new manager because this manager Sitapati he was in the uh, highest position in HUL and he was able to turn around the company like anything you had seen the performance of HUL in the last 10 years from nowhere uh, it's not nowhere it's a universal MNC from that company has got triggered i mean the positive triggers happened one after the other he was able to take uh, uh, all the products of hul to the next level market leaders are among the top three and uh, all the ads were so powerful and the most important aspect is he overseen the merger of horlix from glaxo smith klein with hul so that was a huge thing and he has a veteran with 22 years of experience with all these kind of experiences if you look at uh, this guy has made a name for himself in the industry and he's coming to Godrej means there is a potential there is expectation and the stock market is all about positive optimism and uh, if, uh, if if this positive optimism with this positive op optimism uh, the stock is expected to do good because it has been underrated compared to all other companies in this personal care itself so there is a pos possibility of the stock to go up from here so be cautious and this is not a stock recommendation this is how you, you should do the proper fundamental analysis what some one thing can trigger because they are they are the unique mode and they are globally diversified and the potential threat is very less compared to the any other thing and advantage is new change in management and this one thing this this has uh, created one more one more company Wipro because of change in the CEO in the last uh, six months I think uh, Delaport Mr. Delaport came from Capgemini to Wipro because of which the stock has gone up like anything you had seen just go and check out the growth of Wipro in the last uh, six months in the last six months four to six months the stock has went up like anything this is a kind of uh, change any one one thing can bring into a fundamentally good company right Godrej is fundamentally a good company hopefully it can turn around in the coming quarters based on the results which is happening so please do your own analysis this is not a stock recommendation disclaimer I'm a research analyst by certification. I'm certified research uh, research analyst by NISM. And uh, this is a disclaimer that this is not a uh, recommendation for the stock. I can just go on and invest. So if you need any doubts or questions, please post it in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you.